What's going on, my friends? Happy Wednesday night. Happy hump day. Happy uh, cold cold winter night over here in Michigan, man. I hope wherever you guys are at, you're not freezing your butts off, and I hope you're in a nice, warm, comfortable place, man. But being that we're just about 10 o'clock here, I'm just going to get things rolling. And uh, we'll get we'll get we'll get going, man. We got a couple things to do tonight, and I'm glad that uh, I'm glad you guys are here. And sorry if you see me doing this stuff. I don't can be distracting because ideally I just like to talk and look like uh, you know like I'm a professional here. But then I gotta like look at my uh, my monitor too. All right. So if you don't mind, I, I look at both. But thanks for being here tonight, guys. And tonight's all about corners, man. And uh, good to see everybody. Gozes, what's going on, man? Good to see you, buddy. And um, tonight will be fun, you guys. If you got cards like I do with, like, corner issues, you know, I'm happy to uh, to teach you. Thanks for asking anybody that asked me to work on their cards. Actually, no, that I don't have the capacity to do that, guys. I uh, what, what I do is I've always been crazy about cards. I love them. And uh, then... Uh, I've always worked on them. I didn't like the options or like lack of options to restore cards or clean cards up. So I started making products years back and then I made an Instagram channel from a few buddies that liked card care so I could just show them my stuff I was doing easier. And sure enough, man, I ended up meeting all you guys. So it was, uh, that's how it always started. I always just got to love working on cards, made my own stuff and then started teaching. And uh, so if you guys want to learn, I can teach you. If you want to watch, you can watch. But I just don't have the capacity to take on cards and do orders and stuff like that. But um, thank you for asking. I mean, it does mean a lot to me. Um, hey, yeah. Uh, dude, modern dent removal is... Oh, let's see. Going pretty well. One sec. I got... I still have these cards sitting on my desk that I wanted to see if anything would ever change. I got the... What do we call it? The... Larry Bird still looking good. Got that one here because that was really cool. I got a lot of buzz with that. And then this like Oswald guy, back looks real good on that. I'm doing some more right now. So listen, here's my advice about modern era cards and getting the dents out. Still working on it. So don't get out your most expensive refractor with a dent on the back and, and mess around yet. If you want to mess around with some cheap cards, do that, man. Everything that I show you guys on the modern cards, the vintage cards, RPA cards, I dig into, I got, I got the most impressive base card collection you'll ever see. It's because I just love, I love working on cards, man, you know? Um, so thank you for, for all the, the good feedback, guys, and thanks for your interest. I'm, trust me, I'm excited too. It's interesting. It's fun. I felt like we were at a dead end when it comes to um, those types of issues. And they get, even before coming on tonight, I had three or four guys with messages Hey, do you think this is fixable? And it's all modern cards that are like out of hobby boxes with autographs on them with dents on the back. Card care wouldn't even need it, be needed if a lot of these places didn't even like, they didn't mess them up. A lot of the damage I'm seeing right now is factory damage, man. You know, so, but thank you guys for all the, you know, for everybody that likes doing work like this and finds it interesting and fun and everything like that. Um, so, yes, Rums, yes, Adam, yes. Adam, like, did you see Adam? I was working. To, my buddy Adam sent me a, a care package of base cards. Adam, all those crazy dent removals and stuff were on your care package of base cards you sent to me, buddy. So thank you. Um, so let's, uh, yo, Matt, what's going on, dude? Greetings all the way from Japan. Tell Taj I said what's up. Um, I got to get Taj a, a Kurtz Card Care t-shirt, man. I got a lot of... Uh, uh, friends now, Matt, in Japan that are card collectors. Card collecting is huge in Japan. It's funny, man, that like growing up as a country boy in a country town with a small, small group of people to grow up with, now doing cards, man, I get to meet people all over the world. It's one of those little things that, you know, I know it's like I'm talking about myself, but like it makes me happy, you know? So I'm going to continue. So if anybody asks me about the modern stuff, tests are still going on. And I'd like to thank all my homies out there doing tests this week. I think the only card that I heard about so far, there was like two that blew up, two that were no good. and But they're still variables. So like um, somebody worked on a greetings from Singapore. What's up, man? Good to see you guys. Um, I think one of my buddies, and if you're on here, you can riff on it because I do all these tests typically behind the scenes, but you know how long it would take me to test out every single like 
prism-y type card from all the years. It'd take me forever. So by the time I get data for you guys, it's going to be like two years from now. So if you don't mind, um, if you don't mind hanging, uh, doing some tests with me on these base ones, it's cool. I got you covered on the vintage. I've worked on those for years. I got you covered on doing polishing up cards and corners and cleaning them. I got you. Um, so let me know if, if that, uh, you know, if, if you guys come up with anything or if you're like, so the, the one that I, I got sidetracked, sidetracked, the one that uh, somebody hit me up and said, hey, I put in a new mosaic card uh, and I dented up the back and messed up the back, put in a mosaic split in half, which I'm expecting. I, I, I want to see some stuff. Usually, if, if you don't blow up a few base cards, you know, it's you're not there yet. So maybe maybe it just won't happen a lot, hopefully, you know, you know, so. Um, but if, if the audio is weird, um, I had somebody write uh uh, Life of Lazarus wrote, no, the audio is going back and forth. I, I hope you can hear me. I hope it works out okay. Um, Sharpie on a card stays after a soak. That's that's absolutely right. And, and, and Ulysses has also been helping me out on there too. Gozes is doing it. Thank you, man. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll do it together. You know what I mean? Some people are just happy with buying cards and putting them on the wall or displaying them or selling them or trading them. I always just like, I don't know. I... I for a lot of reasons, and I won't digress, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, trust me, if you guys knew me years ago, I could be getting into way more trouble uh, than sitting around having messing with some cards. Speaking of that, um, just something I'm passionate about, and I'm not here to preach at you, I'm just here to kind of share my story with you guys, and I think that I, I've built up a good rapport with my, with my crew on here, and if you're new, welcome to Kurt's Card Care, I'm Kurt, and if you're a returning visitor, what up, glad that you're here. So like, yeah, the... Um, Five years, almost five years, almost five years alcohol free. So I quit drinking five years ago, you guys. And that's really when I um, had a lot of extra time on my hands. You know, it's like when you go from being a dude that likes to drink daily, it sucks a lot of your time and life away. And then, you know, like as soon as I got out of drinking, I was like, you know what? I'm good at working on cards. I've always collected, I've always been into it. And that's when I started working on. My cards, and you know what? I just call it the universe, call it God. Just call it my brain working. Um, it was like, Kurt, do this, do this. So you know what? That's why I lead this charge fearless and confident because you know what? Most, I'd say most card collectors are hardworking blue collar people. I know there's some upper crust up there, but maybe this message isn't for them. You know, hardworking blue collar dudes that serve people all week, get your ass kicked all week. You're, you could be a husband, a dad, you could have customers. You know what? We like to come home and just kind of have some peace and quiet once in a while. And if working on cards makes you happy, you don't need to explain anything else. That's just something that you like to do because there is so much real shit going on in the world that uh, if you get hung up on working on baseball cards or basketball cards, I think it says a lot more about you than it says about me. So I'll, I'll take that. I'll, I'll, I'll end that with an exclamation point. You know, um, so let me read a couple questions. And dude, 100 days, Matthew. 100 days sober for Matt. Love that. Just think of how much your brain is working, homie, from 100 days. Just think how much... You, I bet you and your wife and your son have had some great conversations and some great bonding time that alcohol didn't steal from me in the past 100 days. And for that, I am very proud of you, man. Um, so let, let's get into it. You know what I mean? Uh, let's get into it. We'll do that. And... I'll always give you pumped up uh, conversations of telling you to get busy living versus get busy dying. But, you know, I, we, we can do that another time. You know what I mean? Um, dimples. If any, I see a couple. I'm, I'm trying. I hate when I watch these back or if I watch them back and I'm always like, I hate it. So I'm trying to like stay right here. Um, dimples, you guys, is uh, typically a permanent issue. I know sometimes I get sidetracked, but if you don't mind, I'm going to show you something. Just hang tight real quick. All right, so I did some more modern soaking today. And what I did was I put some dents into the front of this card. And they're still pretty much there. It's hard to see. I'll show you when we flip the table over. But just if anybody was wondering if you like... So like a dimples on the plastic side. I even had a couple guys show me that some of the surface stuff lightened up. But I, I, I jabbed this thing with like the corner of something sharp. And uh, I couldn't get them to go all the way away. But it's, that's why I sit here and do tests. Because you know why? I like it. And it's fun for me. And that's it. You know, that's, that's, that's my read. That's my why. Cause I enjoy it and it's fun, you know? And, uh, 
let's get let's get jamming. All right. So let me do this. I'm gonna get situated here because my desk uh, it sits up, and now we're gonna turn this around and. I might be a little ambitious tonight. Um, uh, I might be a little, because I got a lot of cards in front of me, so don't be scared. I'm not going to keep you all night, but like, we'll do as many as we want, all right? So let me flip this around here. All right, so now, Jason, don't forget that I'm live here, buddy. You need to be here, Jay. Um, I think somebody asked me like, when's my next card show, man? I want to go, I want to go to a card show. I, I wanted to go to one last week. And if you guys saw my video, I went to the, uh, I went to the airport to go to the crown jewel card show that I've talked about for the past couple weeks. And, uh, I got to my airport, uh, Detroit Metro on Friday, no snow on the ground. Within one and a half hours, there's about four on, of four inches of snow on the ground. Got on the plane, de-iced, had to go get off the plane, wait around for two hours, get back on the plane, sit on it for another hour, and then they tell us, get out of here and go home. So that sucked. Um, but yeah, you know what? That, I, there's a few coming up. I definitely want to go to one like out of state. Um, you know, I would love to go to one coming up soon. The National I'll be at for sure. Absolutely, uh, Rumsey. Absolutely, I'll be at the National. Um it's and and also guys since uh this is i want to stress this one so here got to come back so i got here's my here's my serious face somebody just asked a polite question and it's barry box trips barry i'm gonna make an example of you barry roll might be a dumb question but does your product work at removing tiny white dots on pokemon that's a super awesome question barry and guess what um i'm not a hobby snob that's gonna like be like, you don't know that or it's made out of this like I hate going on card forums where there's a bunch of guys that try to big dick each other. Like, grow up. You know what I mean? Like, find something better to be the expert at. Or just, you know what's even more powerful? Don't act like an expert. You know what I'm saying? So the answer to your simple question, an important question, dude, is no, you're missing a little bit of paint. And this is a safe channel to ask questions because I hate people with egos and I hate snobs. You know what I mean? So, like, you can ask me anything, man. Um... It's a very good question, Barry, and I'm glad you asked. You're at the right place. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, that's 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 all that's all my soapbox. I don't know. I'm feeling a little, little feeling a little ready to go tonight. You know what I'm saying? In a good way. You know? Uh, <laughs> you guys rock, man. I love the comments. All right, let's go. So let's do this. I grabbed tonight, you guys. Um, you know, an RPA. So we'll do some RPA stuff. Got some gaming cards, and I got a, a Yu-Gi-Oh, a Dragon Ball, and a Pokemon, and I got some vintage stuff. So, like, I want to do I want to do a Pokemon card first, all right, or a TCG, because I know that I'm a major sports card lover, but I love all cards because I know the way that I feel about sports cards is the way that many people feel about TCG. So it's like. I feel you, man. I just don't know all the ins and outs. That's why I work on them, you know? And yes, go Lions. Anybody that knows that I'm a Michigan guy and a Detroit guy, it was amazing, dude. It was it was amazing to see um, the Lions and Michigan win a national championship. It was crazy. And I did, um, you know, I love Matthew Stafford. And I, and, I, and I always have liked Matthew Stafford. I just like his attitude. I like his demeanor. I like his, I like his game. But, uh, I can't, I don't want to see Matthew Stafford beat the Lions, of course, but, uh, you know, I think he's had a great career. Okay, enough talking for me. Let me show you some stuff, you guys, and the stuff that I'm going to show you tonight is stuff that I find, like, doable. So, like, not always. I mean, I don't think I'll even do all these that great tonight, but I'm going to do my best for you. Like, stuff like, when I have a Pokemon card with a crank, or like a crease going across it, Nothing. I can never do anything with them. But if you if you if you're a TCG collector and we're going to do this on a few of these cards. But if you get stuff like that, you know, sometimes you're like shoot, you know, what do I do? So I'm going to show you what you can do. All right? And uh I got like a little corner tick. Guys, I got a whole box of these. And and I don't even know if Anthony's on here, but Anthony sent me my boys a whole box of like base card Pokémons and number one they love them. But number two, I can go and grab some and do some tests on them. So um, let's do it. So when it comes to, and, and this could be on the edge of any Pokemon card. This is just one I grabbed for tonight, okay? 
So what I'll do is when you when you have stuff like that, I'll do a I'll do a couple things. We're gonna use the card tool on it. And what I want to do is I don't want to push so bloody hard that I'm like pulling the paint off. It's easy to do that. And I don't want you guys to go backwards or mess something up. And also, let me tell you about my conditions here tonight. It's a little bit colder than I like. Well, my office is okay. It's 72 degrees right now, but I am struggling with keeping this studio humid right now. And that sucks because I got a bunch of guitars behind me. Right now, it's 22% humidity, which sucks. So I got to fill up the my humidifier in this room. Uh, but that being said, I need humidity. And humidity is going to come in the form of my breath blowing in the straw at these at these spots to get the card a little bit softer, okay? Because I don't want to mess it up. I hate messing crap up. So I want to get these areas a little bit warm, and I want to gently put them back down with this, okay? So if you're playing along at home, feel free to ding up an edge or a corner, all right? And then you get a straw, breathing straw, or a drinking straw. I'm just going to do one at a time. And now I'm going to start before the injury and I'm just going to kind of like walk it out. And remember, don't be hard on yourself. Any improvement is an improvement, you know, and you know, I've been around a while. And I've been making these videos a while. And I think sometimes you guys, I don't want these to go the backwards and be like, oh man, he, he's got so much experience. I'm never going to get there. Yeah, you will. You, yeah, you will. I guarantee anybody trying this tonight can do this. Believe in yourself, baby, is what I'm trying to say. You know, BMN asks how much pressure medium. I, I would say I'm not, I'm not smash. I, I'm not trying to push through the plate. I'm just trying to like, what I'm more focused on is the tube. I'm looking through my tubing because I always want to see through it. That's the key part of this is it's clear. So I'm watching it go down the edge. And I'm just kind of doing this little wiggle, you guys, and I'm holding it like this. Hold it however the heck you want. whatever. You, but that's why I love the card tool because it will flex. You see how it's not a perfect circle anymore? See how it's like flexing? But I like it because it's hard. It's not a wimpy tube. If you have a soft little tube, it ain't going to do anything. So now I want to remember, look at, we're getting it flat, we're getting it flat, but you want to do the back. And I can see where that was on the back. I'm afraid of this color blue because it's like so easy to wipe off. And now I'm just going to go up this edge. And we're going to work on the corner together here in a second. But let's just see how we did so far. Pretty cool, right guys? That's just my breath. Is that a good view for you? So Pokemon guys, I love you and I do think about you. And if you have stuff like that on edge, you can do it. Okay. So now let's, these suck, right? I don't know of how good I'm going to do on this, but we're going to try. We're going to do the same exact thing. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I just want to get a little bit of humidity in this corner. And what I'm going to do is try to hold this humidity in here a little bit. And just, again, this thing, you guys, if you're just jumping in, like, what is this? What is this thing? It's just a straw. I'm just using my breath. And don't be afraid if you see a little bit of moisture in there. You ain't going to hurt it. And I'm just going to do that kind of same process where I just kind of do a little bit of a wiggle, back and forth, back and forth, and that wiggle is I'm moving towards that corner. Corners are a little tricky with these cards, as you may know as Pokemon collectors, but it can be done. Taj, what's up, man? My little homie in Japan. Good to see you, buddy. And uh. Taj, I gotta get, I gotta get you a Kurt's card care shirt so you can wear it at school and stuff like that, buddy. So, you guys, T T Taj is uh, my son's boy, and they they live in Japan. And Matt's been my uh, best buddy since we were in third grade, man. And uh, thank God for the internet and stuff like that, where we can talk to each other and video call each other because it does suck when you grow up in a small town and you have a 
have like three or four buddies and you know when they move and move across the the world it's kind of like it's tough you know so i am thankful for technology and you see what i'm using i'm just using my finger you know what i mean um and if guys if i will always answer questions and sometimes i just get going and if i can't you know and if i miss you you can always send me a message man i reply to everybody and then i also got some of my homies on here if anybody knows the answers to anybody's questions feel free to answer um yeah, so like Barry, send if you got something specific, hit me up tomorrow, man. I'll take a look. So now, let's take a look at the corner. Check it out, dude. That's good. And look at that edge. Not sure, I can still see a little bit of bump in there, but if you want to spend more time on it than this, you're going to get it better. You know what I mean? But that's cool. That's easy. See, I, I I can't get that white spot. I can't get those white spots to go away for you, fellas. But I can help you get it back in shape. Okay? So, there's Pokemon. All right? Good. I'll, you guys like that? Let's 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 just let's just do a roll. Let's instead of making it confusing, what did I see on this one? Um, let's inspect it together. Oh, kind of same stuff. But these even though Pokemon and Dragon Ball are similar feeling. These are thicker. These are stronger. So let's see what can happen. With these, you guys, I, I'm not worried about like rolling off the card on down because it's like they're so thin anyways. Like a sports card, you wouldn't want to like fall off the edge because you're going to create a slope. But these, no, I don't. I never really have that issue. And uh, so... Tyler, what's up, man? Thanks for the shout out, dude. And now, here's what I want to do. It's kind of the same deal, you guys. Sorry, I was trying to read stuff at the same time. Just like kind of little little wear and tear, little bumps. Corners, let's see the corners. Yeah, corners are fine. And if you guys ever are wondering, like, hey, can you clean up these cards? Absolutely, they, they clean up fine. But tonight, we're just going to do this type of stuff. So kind of the same thing. All right, so let's do... It's so dry in here, guys. I'm just going to use humidity the whole time, all right? All right, so one of them's right there. Kind of the same deal, guys. I'm just going to kind of... I'm only letting the tubing bend that that much. So if anybody has pressure, it's kind of hard to use my words to describe pressure. I don't know, maybe a pound, two pounds maybe I'm pushing. You don't want to... I found that force does not work well with card care. The only thing that I'm ever like a little forceful for is removing ink off the back of cards. Like when you got ink on a modern card, you kind of got to give it the business. But... Stuff like this, you can always go back and do more little swipes at it. If you go too much or too hardcore and you create like, you know, you pull off some paint or something, it's game over. All right, let's see how we did. I think you guys can see that we're getting there, right? Like, you, you can still see, like, a little hump right there. And then, like, say this is, like, a really good Dragon Ball card, and you're like, I can't have that little hump right there. I just can't have it. It's tweaking me. Um, just spend some time going, like, painting it. You know, like, I'll, then I'll, I'll switch over. I can hold it like a brush now. And I'll just gently kind of paint over the trouble area. And you don't want to just focus on the trouble area. You want to go... Like, start before it. Work through it. So, like, you're almost training it to all go back to its natural shape. Because that's what I've always been obsessed with. Getting stuff back to stock. You know what I mean? Just getting it back. Bruce, what's up, homie? <clears throat> Good to see you, man. I was just sending you messages beforehand, and I didn't know if you knew it was Wednesday. I was going to say, just jump on and talk to me online. Let's see how the side profile. So... Pretty cool, right, guys? And that's just with a... Man, that's... I could I could do lessons with just a straw in this thing. 
There's so much you can do with a card with a straw in this thing, you know? So looking good. So we got two down. Let's see what the... <clears throat> now, I'm not... Um, I don't know <clears throat> how to play any of these games. But um, what's your favorite ones? What's your favorite looking ones, you guys? Is Pokemon like your favorite because it was like the OG? Or do you like some of this other stuff? Because I got to tell you, like Yu-Gi-Oh!, the back's a little weird, you know, but like, dude, the front of these are sweet, right? I don't know. I'm I, As a person that just kind of comes in, like with no dog in their race, when I look at these, they look sinister. I like these. So <laughs> there's, there's my observation. Um, so then let's do the same thing. Um, all right. I just want to look at the corner to make sure it's not like split. Yeah, it might be a little tough. Let's see what we can do. You know what I want to do? When it gets to some, so I don't want to buzz through this. When it gets to something a little bit tricky like this, I want to turn on the microscope. I just want to, because when I look at the microscope, it will tell me. I don't have to guess. It will tell me. Okay. <clears throat> Here's what it's telling me. We got some stuff peeled back. So we got to get that back in place. So I got to go this way. I don't want to go across it because I'm just going to, it's going to smash it down and it will look like crap. So I need to get this baby up there and back into its normal place. <clears throat> All right. So let's, let's see if we can make it happen. And you guys stay tuned because <clears throat> we got vintage cards, RPA stuff coming up. I was just feeling the, uh, the gaming stuff first. Generally, I like the looks of it. I mean, of course, I love sports, but I got to say, like, you know, Benoit Benjamin, okay, that's a fine, but this thing's way cooler looking than this thing, you know what I mean? But uh, let's keep on going. I want to see if I can get this corner unpacked, and we're going to do the same exact thing, but here's going to be a little technique, let's, so it's not so extreme. All right, so you see how you guys, there's like a little edge right there? It's like a little shovel. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to get, um, oh, yes, the one pieces are cool. Uh, absolutely. I've, uh, I, I, I did a couple last week. So if you got, I'm, I'm not dissing, I'm not missing out on them. I got some and I'm going to do some more. Um, so now I'm going to use this. So I'm going to get that humidity in there. And I'm just almost going to like shovel it, not hard, but I'm going to shovel it up into place. And if I do it right, I won't rip off the uh, the surface. I can't put a. I cannot put. I can't put this over it because I gotta get that little lip back into place. So let's do it. All right. Either I'm gonna look. I'm gonna teach you something. I'm gonna teach you something regardless how to do it or how not to do it. I just don't want to rip off the corner. little touch like that. Now I can put this on here. I'll take a break, you guys, uh, before I do the next batch of cards or style, and I'll read questions. So if you're asking me stuff right now, I'm looking down. What's going on, Ryan? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, no, but no, it's cool, you know, but you know, that's another thing I have is sometimes I look at the photography on these cards, even modern era cards. And I am, I, maybe it's just my personality, but I look at some of these cards and the pictures suck. Like, like, look at that. Like, that's awesome. Like, that's classy. That's classic. This is awesome. It's classy. It's classic. It looks good. But then you'll see some cards that are just like, it's almost like it was like a checklist. Like they sent a photographer and they're like, just get a picture of this dude wearing number uh, two. And uh, that's good. But, and this was back in the film days, right? So they're like, it costs a lot of money to develop this stuff. So just take one picture of each player and we'll figure it out. Um, so let's take a look. I want to go back up to here. Okay, let's go back. So check her out. We didn't lose the paint. We were able to fold it back up into place. 
And you know how I can do that, guys? What I'll stare at is these little patterns. Like, I'll watch the patterns, and I'll be like, all right, we got pattern, we got pattern, we got pattern. It's kicking up a little bit still, but we at least got that paper back in place, right? So then, um, let's bring it back. Because not only was the corner bent, but we got an edge problem. And even Yu-Gi-Oh! still has that kind of gamey card feel, but it's definitely a different stock. I think uh, Pokemon's the, the wobbliest out of these cards. I would say that's the medium one, and Dragon Ball's pretty stiff, all right? And if anybody's jumping on this and saying, hey, I want to watch more of it or, you know, whatever, I save these, guys. And if you want... If, I love when you guys ask me questions and say, hey, you got any advice or what do you think I should do about this corner or this edge? You guys, I'll always reply to you. But if you want to just skip the wait, go to my YouTube page, click on playlists. Everything I know how to do, I have videos of. And if I don't have videos of it, it means I don't know how to do it. But uh, feel free to dig in. I have them all organized, all right? That little camera setup I just showed you guys is a digital microscope, all right? Um, Nick, I'm going to answer your question because that's a good one. So hang tight. I got to remember, Nick Pruitt, I want to answer your question. But first, I just want to see if I can get this. And I was working on these style of fingernail dents and stuff like that on these guys because they're usually savable. If you got big old creases or lines running through these cards, it's just, just not going to happen, I don't think. I don't want to say never, but I've trust me, I've tried and tried and tried every method I know how to do. And ooh, that worked out. That one was good. <clears throat> Let me get my towel. I want to show you this one. I just had a little bit of humidity on there. Pretty good, right? And then, you know, it's like again, let's pretend this thing is like super valuable. So you're like, all right, I still see a little bit of it right there. Flip it over. And do that same thing. Anytime you're working on an edge or a corner, even if you don't see anything on the back, still do the back because you're meeting in the middle. You don't want the card just to be like worked on the surface. So if you're going to work on this side, work on this side just so it meets in the middle because chances are both sides took a little bit of a hit. So, the, um, yep, okay, Bruce answered it. So, Nick, did you see that answer from, from Bruce on the on deck tech? If you get a shiny corner, it's probably because you retained it while there was moisture in it and it just was too much pressure and then it just, you shined it out. It just got, it was too much. So if that does happen to you, you can kind of reverse it sometimes by adding light amounts of like, car like if you, um, if you guys are any, anybody on here that's a, um, a paper card collector. So say, uh, okay, more, more common, like on a FLIR. So like if this card of Michael Jordan rookie card, you're off, you're often going to see shiny corners because somebody put it in a screw case 30 years ago and screwed the shit out of it. And so it's like so tight. It just, it, it, it wore down that natural texture. You guys, that's why my setup is so hot with lights. I got three, four lights I'm working under because number one, I don't want it this. I want you to see everything I'm seeing. That's how you find this type of stuff. But number two, if you're like, looking at a card and you're like, all right, I got texture, 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 shine, shine, shine. You're going to have to put a little bit of card spray on there to like rejuvenate it and bring it back to life. So very good question, Nick. I'm glad you asked that. Okay. And then, um, let's just see how we did here. Then we'll move on to some other cards. Where were we? Corner looks good. Back looks pretty darn good. So it looks like there's still a little bit of a little bit of a line up there. Maybe that's as good as it's ever gonna get. Or if you spend about 10, 15 more minutes with it, you guys doing a little bit of humidity on it, I think it's gonna probably go away. But then the edge looks good. So that's some TCG stuff, alright guys? So I hope that's cool. There's a and take this stuff and use it right away. You know? I had somebody um I saw a post, and I appreciate it, and I get the sentiment. I, I saw somebody wrote, hey, Kurt, you know, you should be charging people for this. 
you know what? It's like there's too many cards in the world. There's too many collectors in the world. And if I charge to do this, I did, you guys, I was a, I did private card cleaning just, uh, just by myself for a long time. I got to the point where I honestly got like just, I didn't feel like I was using all my skills. Like I like talking to you guys. I like coaching. I like teaching other people stuff. You know, I'll, lately I've been trying to like post as much feedback that you guys send me because it's like, it's so inspiring to me to be able to teach somebody else to do something cool. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm fine. You know, the thing is if I had to work on these cards all day, every day, I would quit because that's what I almost did when I worked on cards for a long time. I was really good at it. And, you know, customer service freak and expectation setting freak and all that stuff. But like at the end of the day, dude, if I'm not happy and enjoying every bit of it, life's too short, man. I lost too many good people at a young age to like, not do what I want, you know, and I encourage you to do the same thing, you know, like don't get paralysis by analysis. You know what I mean? It's like, I sit there analyzing, should I just clean cards all day every day? I, it, it just, I was like, you know what? No, I did. I spent my, a lot of time developing my formulas and making stuff that I like, and I'm the most particular freaking anal person. And it's like, it's a blessing in some ways. And it's a curse in a lot of ways, but I'm so picky. And then I'm like, you know what? I don't like, I'm, make my own tools. I do my own process. I do all this stuff. And then it just hit me like when I, I just, I don't want to sit here and just work on cards all day, all night. I'll just lose my mind. Um, that's when it hit me. I'm like, you know, I know I'm not the only one that no wants to know how to do this. And you know, when I was growing up and making card care and doing all stuff and, and like Matt's on here, I got buddies that have known me since I was in third grade. I've always been the same way. This is, this has always been me. I bring my cards to school, man, and sell them at lunch because I knew kids had lunch money. And I'd be like, I'm going to go sell them some football cards and some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cards. I'd get to the library first and rip out the Sports Illustrated cards so I could trade them for stuff at lunch, you know? This has always been me. So I got to have fun, you know? And it's so fun to be able to, really make cool products and make of all things in the world that us like you guys watching this is sports cards and gaming cards dude i can't just it's no it's stupid to keep it a secret it's stupid and it's also i think important to share for someone and i'll do it here i am to step up and say hey you know what, you guys don't be afraid of grading companies. Grading companies weren't even around when i started collecting cards and i feel like what will a grading company say? What will a grading company say? Listen I ain't going to put you at risk. And the thing is, I'm not some sneaky guy trying to sneak past a grading company. I'm trying to teach you how to work on your property and like work on it in a clean, ethical way where if you do want to grade it, go ahead and do it, you know, but I just always wanted to be, you know, a helpful, resourceful guy in this way, you know, so appreciate you guys big time for coming along for the ride. You know what I mean? Um, so let's do next. Um, so next, I want to do the RPA next, if that's cool with you guys, because the vintage cards are cool too. Mm, we'll just do them, all right? How, how about that? So we'll just do them. And um, if I missed anything, let me know. But uh, yeah, I just, I, you know, I got guys that's like, you know, I, I, I like to stick to cards, but on these lives, they're a little bit more personal because I do get asked a lot of personal questions and I do get asked a lot of like, you know, why can't I just send them to you? Why can't I just send them to you? Uh, simplest answer is I don't want, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I want to teach you. And if you're like, ah, screw this, just change the channel then. Don't watch it. You know what I mean? There's good dudes out there that will work on your cards for you, but I'm the dude that will teach you how to do it and give you good support and make you cool products, you know? So let's get back to it. Let's do the RPA. All right. So this is a common one that, um, RPAs will be probably the most sensitive cards that you get. And when you get these, you guys, here's how I want you to inspect them. Let me, uh, I gotta get my desk down a little bit. You guys, a raising and lowering desk is also really cool for card care. So, okay, and it doesn't take long for me to figure this one out. Here it is. And if this was name your favorite player slash RPA, you'd be pissed, right? That'd suck. So step number one, before we start getting busy, let's analyze this thing. Let's figure it out. So I'm turning on the uh, microscope again, and we're going to look at it. And let's figure this thing out because everything I'm teaching you guys here tonight is stuff I want you to be able to do. And you know what? This You can get a Melvin Gordon RPA for probably a few bucks, but guess what? It's made out of the same stuff that a 
name your favorite player RP is made out of. So let's, where was that problem? Okay, let me get this problem up here. Oh, this is, this is a pretty good one. Okay, I see something here. And let me just dial this focus in. I think, you guys, I'm going to work on this one under the scope because that is more than I want to take on with my 42-year-old eyes. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do. You're going to see something fun. I need a tortillon. This is a tortillon. This is a, a little paper pencil. <clears throat> it's good for card stuff, for hard-to-reach places. Ideally, what it's good for on something like this is transferring a little bit of moisture and tucking that thing down. All right? So let's zoom out. Um, I want to show you what we're going to do. We're going to get a little bit of card spray here. That's all I need. And I'm going to get... I don't want to soak this. In my mind... And here's what I want you to do, you guys. I want you to think. All right? I just want you to think. Be present when you do this type of stuff. So what, before I just start slapping this on there, I want to think. All right. I don't... The first view, it looks like it's missing paper. But it's bunched up. It's not missing paper. This thing is tucked and kicked back. So what do I want to do? I want to... In my mind, I'm already visualizing what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little bit of moisture right there. And then I'm going to close that door. Okay? In a perfect world. So... But I think we can do it. So let's... It's always fun with a phone in front of you. I wouldn't suggest having, I have my arms like fully extended. So here's another rule of thumb, but for teaching, it's a little bit tricky. Be comfortable. This is about as awkward as hell. So I can pull this one off. <laughs> all right. Look at, we got that little, little sucker back in place. All right. So now we're going to bring it back over here in front of me. That was a stretch. I like live shows. They make me uh, a little bit more uh, ambidextrous, I guess. So when I get to work on cards without the camera on, uh, okay, so now let's go back to it, and um, we're going to pick it up down here. I'll show you what I just did. It's not done. We are not done, but look at that. See how it's still wrinkly, but we kind of like, oh, phone work. Still got some wrinkles, but look at that. We didn't. We did not lose that paper, but we got a lot of work to do, man. We got a lot of work to do, so let's do it. So I want to... I, that little micro dot of spray I put in there, it's still in there, all right? It's in there still. And so before I use any tool, I want to feel it. Remember, I, if you watch my promo today, I'm, so I'm going to teach you how to use your brain and your fingers. So I'm not pushing hard on this. I just want to feel it because, like, I know, what, I know what a flat part feels like. I'm just going to come down here and be like, all right, it's getting there. So when you see a corner, guys, I want to go sharp, sharp. Sharp. Those are the patterns. I'm just going to go, and I'm barely touching this card now. I'm just going to go off the, when it comes to the edge, I pick up. Pick up. I'm going to go slow. Pick up. Pick up. I think we're making some progress, dudes. My stupid phone would focus. Mickey, what's going on, man? All right, guys. Cool? So now let's look at the other part. Oh, look at that. Oh, got that. That got that. Got that flat, too. I'm looking at... I'm just looking at this side. So that was a touch of card spray. And closing that thing back down. Okay? So now... Um, I just saw a good question. Let me, um, 
what was it? I think somebody asked me enough. Uh, so if somebody asked me if, um, why would I switch to card spray here versus breath? Because these suckers are thick and I need to get a little bit of moisture in there. So now let's look at the front. Oh, this is a, this is fun too. Look at this one. Oink. But how many times you guys, even if you're on here, we're not going to laugh at you. But how many times has somebody pulled out an RPA and they're so excited and they're doing one of these things or they're putting it in a case and they're shaking and they drop the thing on the table. I'm telling you, man, like adrenaline's a real thing. It's, it's scientific. It gets you tweaked. So if you guys are, if you're ever like anxious with your hands or you have a monster pull, put that damn thing on the table and walk away and go tell your friends or call somebody. Don't fuss with these things. Like get, get yourself right before you touch these things, you know? Um, quick question here says vintage hockey cards. Do you like to soak them? Here's, here's my rule of thumb when it comes to soaking you guys, if you got a card, that's like a one or a two to a three soaking is kind of like the only thing you can do. Cause it's probably filthy and wrinkled. You got a card that's like a four five, six, seven. I don't even think you need to soaking would be too much. <clears throat> you just probably need to go in and do like little things at a, one at a time. Stay tuned because we're going to do an Oscar Robinson that has some corner issues but this card doesn't need to be soaked. But uh, stay tuned, you guys. I got some more stuff. We're we're rolling. I'm going. I'm I'm going for you. I got to do the same thing on this. I have to put a little bit of card spray down. So if you guys want to see like the whole my crazy reach, here we go. And uh, can I just take a second to th uh, sincerely thank you guys for being here tonight? Like seriously, I know like Instagram has like one billion channels to watch. So thank you for being here to watch this one, and I hope that it entertains you and also educates you. All right, so. I'm coming with a little bit of a microfiber because that was a little bit wet, but it ain't going to hurt it. Actually, actually, it's pretty darn good. All right, never mind. I meant to do that. Perfect. <laughs> Ideally, I would have done a little bit less, but it's not going to stain the card or anything like that. If you soak a card all the way through, you guys like soak, 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 and then you have a dry, 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 you can get a little bit of a line. But you see like that little that little thing right there? Let me get you a good view. That's going to dry white, so we'll be fine. All right, so let's go back to the table. And thank you guys for... Uh, for hanging with me. I know this is a lot of back and forth here tonight, but this one's important. Uh, my buddy Max. Max, I don't know if you're watching right now. It's probably too late. Max is Max is like German, so I think it's probably like four or five in the morning over there, you know, but Max, when you watch this one, dude, you got so many great, uh, you got so many great pieces of feedback. I, I posted some of Max's cards that he sent me. Um, corner and edge feedback is what I'm trying to say. And I loved it because, you know, you guys are supportive and you're, you, you know, it's cool to cheer, cheer somebody on and say, Hey, good job. But my favorite part was like the haters going, this is fake. This is impossible. And I'm like, all right, corners it is, you know, it's like, I don't have too many customers of mine that, uh, send me pictures of fake stuff. I, I think they would send me stuff of going, Hey, I'm having some challenges here. Can you help me? But you know, he got a lot of good feedback for his awesome corner work. And that's like his, he shared with me, that's his favorite thing to do is work on edges and corners. Well, when you spend a lot of time doing it, get doing it, you get good at it. You guys got a good view? Sorry. I just sometimes get carried away. This is sweet. This is freaking sweet. That's the corner, you guys. Come on, camera. What is it? I got to buy an iPhone next version now or something? Or is it just my patience are, it's funny. I have patience for working on cards, but I don't have patience for a lot of other things. Show the viewers what I'm trying to show them. All right, there we go. See, isn't that rad? Check that out. You guys, there's a little bit of a, you can see a little bit of a little bit of a bump right there because it's just got a little bit of moisture in there. That's going to dry. And let's, let's look at it under the scope. Can't hide from the scope. Hell yeah. That's a good one. That is a good one. And I'll show you guys if you want to see at the end of the show. That's going to dry. 
That's that's all, it's going to dry in the next probably 30 seconds if I kept on here. I can already see it starting to crawl away. That's going down. That's going down. And let's look at the back. I'd be a little bit roughed up or a little bit damp up there still. But I'm gonna, I'll pick it up at the end of the show. Don't let me forget. But, dude, that's a good one. I'm proud of that. And it's just a little bit wet. It will dry. Whoops. <laughs> no cards were injured in my phone dropping. So let me show you where we're at. What do you guys think? Cool, right? That's my favorite part. That right there. That's my favorite part. Is uh, making sure you got that corner back in place. God, this this camera's giving me fits tonight. That's what I'm trying to show you. All right, you get it, right? But you guys, that's how I go about corners and edges on an RPA, okay? This thing was beat. Beat, beat. And now it looks awesome. And I know you guys can do this. It's not... It's just nice to have somebody <clears throat> that can... Uh, you know, like, I think that I was saying this, but sometimes I just get, I, I'll, I'll just see something shiny and I'll just go in a different direction. But um, that type of stuff, you guys, like, practice. Get, get a couple base cards, beat them up, try them like that. It'll give you the confidence. Because when I tell you guys, like, if you see me working on an expensive card or something good, and you're like, holy crap, I know it's fun, it's entertaining, you know, and I do it for fun, you know, because it's, well, it's, I do it because it's my cards, but I, I showcase them because I want to give you guys the confidence that, like, it all starts here. It all starts with this type of stuff. I'm, I'm very conservative when it comes to card care because it's one of the few things I love, you know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't want to screw anything up. Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right, Bruce. And uh, because that, that's, especially if you love grading cards. And you guys, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of my customers that don't even care about grading cards. They're just people that enjoy collecting them and displaying them, you know? But I know there's a ton of us that like to grade cards, so I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm one of those people. So cool. That's an RPA. Looks great. I'll, and I'll do some before and after pictures. And this will be saved if you guys want to watch it again, all right? So then, all right, we're down to the home stretch here. Are you guys cool still? We got, got time for a few more? I don't want to keep you all night. I know we've been going, we're going on an hour. I think the final ones we're going to do... Um, is it, let me see here, let's try to wipe this thing off, that, and then, no, you know what, it's like, every time I go do a show, I wipe these, the, the back off, because that is, if you guys ever make videos for yourself on Instagram or whatever like that, put, um, always wipe off the back of your lenses, because it'll suck, you'll, you'll make a great video, and then you'll, like, start watching it back, and you'll be like, oh, damn, what the hell did I do, shoot this thing underwater, always remember to get you, clean up your lenses, you know what I mean? So, um, let's do this. Let's flip this thing over again, and we're going to do some more cards. All right, and if it's cool with you guys, we're going to bring in kind of the last range here. So, like, here's what I do when I work on those nice ones. Um, yeah, dude, Drew, uh, one of my buddies on here, Drew, was talking to me. Like, he did some major cool stuff, man. I love seeing vintage cards get re, uh, restored. And, Drew, you got to... When you're done, man, man, show it, show it off. It will look, it will look good. So like, here's what guys, what I'll do. Like, you know, if you see me work on those expensive, awesome old baseball cards, you know, when it comes to like play ball cards, I think of like Ted Williams and some of the greats, but you know, Eldon Ocker is cool too, especially when I got stuff like this, you guys might be looking at this going, no way. I don't know how much we'll improve it, but we're going to try. I got to bring it when I have all of you guys here tonight. When all my friends come over to party, I got to throw a good party so that so this of you you get good working on this now you guys might say to me dude why wouldn't you just soak this card well I, I probably would but since i don't have time to do all that tonight let's just pretend let's pretend let's pretend that every part of this card is perfect except for that because if you have a card that's perfect great surface great this everything and you're like i don't need to soak a whole card i just need to work on a corner we're going to pretend that that's the issue here. And I guess I'm also going to try to get that hard water stain out of there tonight. So hang tight because that's the one I get asked a lot. If you guys, 
anybody that sends me a picture saying, hey, I want to work on my Michael Jordan. Well, you better have a handful of these at home because don't be testing on Michael Jordan cards. Um, like, especially with like crap like that, you know, that's, that's an ouch, you know, um, that right there, no good. Now, if you guys are like, Hey, how do you, can you get wrinkles and creases and stuff out of these to a degree, to a degree you can, um, uh, Breakersville soaking is like a whole thing you can do to a card. Don't have time to explain it right this second, but it's, um, it's amazing. And it's, if you ever want to watch me do it, go to my YouTube page, click on playlists, and all, I have a bunch of cards, vintage cards, where I'll soak the entire card, bring it back to life, get all the wrinkles and dirt out of it, and slowly dry it, okay? But, um, so get these if you're going to work on 86 Fleer. This is going to be, like a play ball card is going to be sufficient for, like, it's very, it's thinner than a Gaudi, but reacts similar. And then, you guys, you know, there's some great basketball and football cards, that came out of the tall boy sets, you know, like we got what Lou Cinder rookie. Uh, we got the Joe Namath. We got all of them. There's so many good players in these tall boys. So always get a few cards that you're like, cause if you're going to go out and buy a card this weekend, you're like, Hey, I'm going to the card show. I'm going to get myself a Lou Cinder rookie card. That's like a three. Don't go home and start testing on it, man. Get, get an Oscar Robertson for 15 bucks. It's the best $15 insurance policy you're ever going to get. You know, um, so then let me show you guys, um, since this one's going to take the longest, let's just start with this one. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. Um, I don't even know if we need the microscope for this. It's pretty, it's pretty much there. It's rough. So here's what I want to do. Um, I want to start with the front cause the back is pretty scary. But here's when I see something like that. Um, the first thing I think of is, um, like, how do I get this ugly stain out of here? You know, and how, how do I, how do I honor Eldon Auker? You know, this is a cool card and I love reading the stories on the back. He left Detroit when I think went to St. Louis, found his mojo again, got playing again. I was like, cool story. I never even read this about this guy before. But um, this right here is something that I'm thinking I'm going to need to use a little bit of cotton, one of my little cotton circles. We're going to use some card spray. And the first thing I want to do is, and you guys, this one, we probably won't finish this one tonight because I'm probably going to have to hold it, but I, I was prepared for that. So let me show you something. This is going to get a little bit of little bit of moisture on here and you see that stain if you're gonna usually what then i'll say this slow so pay attention usually what causes an issue is what fixes an issue so usually what causes an issue fixes an issue so when you have a stain in a card it was caused by moisture so typically you got to go back in there with moisture and get that thing out all right so sometimes just going out getting in there and activating that spot again will and you want to taper it out see how i'm kind of like pulling it down i'm not soaking the entire card I, in my mind i don't want it to go all the way through so i'm visualizing in my head don't pack it in with moisture which you guys could be going well this would be a perfect card to soak but i'm just asking you to pretend that that's not an option and you just want to work on a corner okay so got that part a little bit wet okay and i'm using my card spray here guys so now I just want to get this corner. I'm going to hold card spray on cotton over it. And um, it looks like, uh, yeah, KXGXP. That's a good point. You guys, card polish is good at cleaning and shining. So whether it's a card like this that has a, see how that has a polyurethane lacquer on the front? You can polish that, no problem. See how the back is raw matte paper? No, no. You don't want to put polish on it. You just make it wet. So no point. Anything with... So now you see this the front of this card? Um, no no shiny surface. It was It's paper. It's matte. So you don't need to polish a card like that. But you can use card spray the way we're using it right now. Okay? So 
<laughs> you guys might be looking at this now going, what in the world? What are we supposed to get from this? Hang tight, hang tight. So we're going to try to save this the best we can. And I don't like to remove any of the card material. I try to use whatever the heck we still got there. And this one might be... Here, let's get a better look. I got to get a look at this. I'm just guessing. So we're going to go back up to the monitor. This thing always wants to turn off every five minutes on me. So, all right. <clears throat> we got... We're going to have to do some surgery here. We got... You could be thinking in your head, wouldn't it just be easier to yank that off? I just don't want to. I want to see if I can get it. Even if it's not, this thing's not going to go square and flat. But I'm going to try my best to make it look square and flat. And more more concerned at the front. This one might be a pretty hardcore issue because see you guys, when you see that, you're missing paper. But I want to get these wrinkles out of here, all right? So some of this requires you to use your imagination. But if any of this stuff looks interesting, you guys... This is not the only way to find me doing this. I have tons of videos on vintage cards and corner and edge repair. So if this is just like your way of finding me and this is interesting to you, you don't have to wait till every Wednesday night. See how it's working, you guys? How cool is that, right? See how it's getting, I'm packing it down and just kind of getting it back in place. So let's tidy it up over here. Tap, tap. Let's come up from here. So what I was saying is, if you like this stuff, I have great playlists on built on YouTube where um, you can jump in and watch this stuff anytime you want. So I know this isn't pretty by any means, but you see how we got those wrinkles to go out of there? And here's what we're going to do next, okay? So the back kind of sucks because I don't really know what to do with it. It's like, it's you know what? It actually doesn't suck that bad. I take that back. I might be surprised, pleasantly surprised, when the card dries. But I just don't want to yank that. I look at every little piece of material as, like, valuable and cool. I don't like to take that away. It doesn't look good right now, but listen. Well, it looks better. I mean, obviously it looks better. But the thing is, this is still going to dry. And it's, when this dries, it's going to be firm. So when it's firm, there's also some stuff I can do to it right now. So while it's wet, I'm just trying to get it in the best shape I can get it. And then, of course, I can come in and do some details. Now, if you're just joining you guys and you're like, this is a card care channel and I'm supposed to be impressed, that looks like crap. Just hear me out. I'm Whenever you run into this type of stuff, I was just working on these wrinkles, and then we got this hard like stain in here. So let's let's try to do knock out a couple things at once. So now, here's what I want to do: when you work on a vintage corner like that, you want to take the card out, and we're we're not done yet. There's a there's another thing I'm going to have to do here, because if I just closed it up like this, it's gonna the corner's not going to be as nasty like. But you can't look, you can't miss, you can't see past that. That's like really bad. You know what I mean? In a normal demonstration, guys, I'd probably soak a card like this because it's also got like a bunch of crap right there. But just pretend that's not there. <laughs> I got a lot of pretends on this card, okay? But um, what I want to do next here is I want to get this all in place. I want to put a plate behind it. So a plate, a circle, a curlic circle. This is um, plexiglass. And it's a six inch diameter, quarter inch thick. Okay. So here's what my thought process is on this. I want to get this. I want to activate this corner with a little bit more moisture and taper it out a little bit. And I promise you guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And, and you know what, guys? Drying is the key to these things. So like, here's my thing. You know how like. Most cards are always in, like, sleeves or whatever. When you guys are done with soaking your card and getting the stains and wrinkles out of them and you put them in the pads for three or four days or whatever, you know, that's a great start, right? But then 
don't take it out and just let it sit on your desk for a day. Because let me show you something. Even this card. You see, let me... Uh, I had a couple cards sit out on my desk today. Paper cards that are already doing that half moon and starting to curl just because the atmosphere in here sucks. It's so dry right now. So as soon as you're done working on a card and doing the drying process and all that fun stuff, put it in a top uh, penny sleeve and a semi-rigid right away and let it sit for another five days. Think about it as just like a long curing process. And then once you get it back to train to back flat, you're good, man. Uh, and Drew, that was kind of what I was talking about. It can be three, four, five days, man. Like I'm, uh, I'll show you guys something here. I'll show you a cool card here in a second. So the reason I'm doing this whole upper corner up here, guys, is because I'm trying to get this nasty line out of there. And we got the corner, like, look at this. The, the bends are out of there, but that's this weird line. So I'm just going to get a little bit of moisture in here just for the sake of this demonstration that we're going to keep on moving. That's just uh, some cotton. So, all right. So now I just want to lock this thing up and I want it, this to dry slowly. I don't want it to dry fast. If I just leave it out in this atmosphere, it's going to dry fast. So I want to throttle down that drying. Probably going to have to show you this one tomorrow because I want to hold it. I don't want it to be opened and closed, opened and closed. If I can get my finger into this plate. All right. So what I want to do next is... Oh, reach, 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 reach. I need to grab. We're going to do a couple more, you guys, and then uh, we'll call it a night. But I'll, I'll continue to keep moving here. So I'm going to hold this, and we'll see. look at it in the morning. We'll take a, take a look, and I'll show you guys a picture. All right, tonight, Purple Monster's on tap. I need a drink. Cheers to everybody. <sighs> All right. Let's, uh, I want to show you guys this one. All right. So next, and I know tonight you guys, I was so ambitious. I got so many cards I picked out, but I hope it's cool with you guys. Yeah. Strictly Wrigley. Yeah, dude. It's the, the atmosphere's m messy. You know what I mean? So here's the good news. If you ever had uh, a car, a card that was like, didn't dry perfectly or something like that, you can always just take it at two steps back and add a little bit of moisture to it like I just did. If you have a card that doesn't dry right, you don't have to soak the whole card again. You can just pat like the back of it with a little bit of moisture, put it right between your plates, and you'll be good to go. Size for the sake of time tonight, we'll just, uh, all four corners <clears throat> on this card have issues, but let's just, uh, let's just work on this one. Kind of the same thing. I want to get you guys, you guys to have good eyes for this type of stuff. So, you're at a card show and you got the Lou L. Sender in front of you and it's raw, you know, and you see like, oh, you're like, oh, paper loss. Take a deeper dive. Take a deeper dive. And since you guys have been hanging out with me tonight, you already know what's going to happen. What are we going to do? We're going to close that door, right? That's it. We're going to close that door. We're going to do it by... There are so many people, you guys, that jack up cards by putting them into these damn things, all right? That's... <laughs> So many vintage cards are screwed up like that. This, you guys, that's called missing paint and a, probably a little bit of a missing card right there. But, oh, that's too far. Let's zoom in. It's more fun when you can see it like that. Using just a little bit of moisture on the Tortillon. We're just going to do what? Tap it a little bit. Get a little bit. Of, look at that. Let's let it close by itself. Come here at the card tool. I'm going to close that door just like that. And for the fun of it, here, let's just let that dry real quick because I didn't put a lot in there. But check that out. That's for all the guys that are like me that are obsessive about you know, edges and corners. Watch it. See it right in front of you guys? See it drying? That's going to go back to white in about five seconds. You know? And, uh, yeah, the Maravich is so good looking from this year. I love it. But check that out. That You guys can do this. Again, that's my thing for the night. You can do this. If you enjoy just the entertainment of watching me do it, you're welcome anytime. But I want I want you to know you can do this. Oh, let's do this one. 
what are we going to do? Same exact thing we just did. We're going to use a, a little, our hands, our brains, and our eyes to make something that you really care about even better. Pretty cool, right? Let's roll that tortilla on up. And, uh, bummer, we're missing a little touch of paint right there. But guess what? That looks way the hell better than what we just started with five seconds ago. Let's fold that one back, too. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. These are too fun, man. I could sit here doing this all night. I am so happy that you guys found me and I found you because I tell you what, just doing this stuff alone and by myself all day, sure, it's fun. But, uh, you know, as a guy growing up that was an athlete and played sports my whole life, man, I like being a part of a team. And I just feel like we're, we're a part of a team doing this together. So for that, I thank you. Um, so that will dry in any second. Um, here, I'll just blow on it. Well, I'm ex I'm accelerating it, but kick ass, right, you guys? So look at those corn. Oh, here's a good thing to see. See how that's coming back up? Let's go back down. I'm going to show you how to fix that so it stays in place. Because some of these injuries on these cards, you know, happened a long, long time ago. So you got to make sure that, you know, when you when you work on them. Ooh, you know, I think I might be able to fix this. Let's take a deeper look. Okay, cool. Look at there's nothing. Missing uh, the corner, of course, is dinged. I'm looking at that this weird spot right here. I think I can fix that one, too. Let's go for both. But what I want to show you is if you're working on a card and you're like, oh, I got the little door to close, but it wants to kick back up on me. It was, a, honestly, guys, it was a little awkward for me to work under the... I work under the scope all the time, but reaching around my phone with both my arms and my phone in my face, a little weird. Oh, you guys are good. That's a good view, isn't it? All right, let's stay there. So now let's make this thing go away. Just going to transfer a baby touch of card spray over there. Do that. Just a little gentle tap. And you know what? To me, that's cool as hell. I'm easily amused, though. But, I mean, that's cool as hell to me. Guys, buy some tall boys. They're freaking awesome. And if you guys are on here and you're like, hey, I'm not a vintage collector, you should be. You know, be a part of all of it. Be a part of all of it. You know, like have a couple cool things in your collection that mean something to you. You know, like I got into vintage just because of, of the great people that played. Like I think like... Nolan Ryan was like my my grail card when I was a kid, a Nolan Ryan rookie. And my uncles talked about Nolan Ryan like he was like this god, you know. And uh he's a man, but he was he's a good man. And uh and then and then I learned about like Jackie Robinson. And you know what I mean? And then I learned about uh like Babe Ruth and all this stuff and I was just like I got to be I got to I got to be a part of it. So that's going to dry, you guys. I know it's, it looks a little bit damp right now, but we're good. So here's what I'm going to suggest you do, too. So, Because I'm going to show you a before and after picture tomorrow. I just want to get... Here's what I also want to do. That looks a little wet for me, so I want to spread that wetness out. I don't want it to all puddle up in the corner. So you could be saying to me right now, like, why are you adding extra moisture on there? Because I just want it to all... I, I don't want it to soak through the card, but I just want this whole area to be a little bit wet so it dries evenly. If that makes sense. We got one more, you guys. We got one more. It's an 86 Fleer. So here's what I'm going to do with this one. I don't want to clamp it. It doesn't need to be clamped. The um, That baseball card we just worked on, that thing was just beat. So I need it to to stay in shape. So And, and then don't be afraid to use your hands. I can feel the card under there. So I just want to make sure those corners are good. Good. You freaking rock stars, you got time for one more? Let's do, let's do some. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's good. You got to stay for that. Okay, so I'll stay for that and then we'll be done. 
And then tomorrow I'm going to take a bunch of pictures and show you some, some, some stuff. But let's look at that RPA again. Now that it's dry, that's sweet. Looks good. And you guys, I'm doing these live, you know what I mean? So it's like, could I go in there and touch those little, get a little moisture on there? Sure. Sure, of course I can, you know what I mean? But just, I just want to give you guys the tools so you can go out and do this. And I also want to give a big, fat shout out to my buddy Bruce, the On Deck Tech, for being like freaking answering service tonight. Love you, Bruce. And uh, thank you for that. And thank you for everybody watching this. Let's end it strong. Let's do one more. And, you know, now that you guys are watching me, now you're probably like, oh, that ain't no big deal anymore. But the thing is, if you had one of these in your collection and you're like, oh, man, I'm afraid to touch it, it pretend it's Jordan. You'd be like, I don't even want to. I'm afraid. And then you're like, man, when you guys see, like, uh, missing paint right there, there's nothing you can do with that. So that's just a good teaching lesson. Missing paint is missing. But, like, this corner's jacked up but the paint's not missing. Okay, so let's just start simple. Let's just do the top one first. You know, so is that true? Uh, and I'm just jumping on here, Bruce. Is that, uh, are you talking about um, Benoit Benjamin? Is he, is he, uh, was he uh, in the service or what, am I jumping on in a, conversation that you're having anyways i appreciate all you know what i think no matter what you do for a living you serve you know what i mean it's like i think that you know anybody that works with their hands and brains and out taking care of people i appreciate you and you know what i love our military men and women so much but you know it's like and bruce who i'm my buddy on here he doesn't like to be bragged about but dude is a marine for like 20 plus years like dude Thanks, you know, like, and now he's on here answering card questions and helping everybody out. It's just like when you have a heart to serve people, it just is in there, you know, but God, it's like having wild kids. I appreciate teachers. I appreciate the person that says hi to me that works at 7-Eleven. I just think it's so easy to be nice to people, man, and serve people. So it's like, if you're still looking for a New Year's resolution, man, make it, be the person that says hi first. Be the person that lends a helping hand first. It, it's work. Because guess what? It doesn't come naturally to everybody. And it doesn't come naturally to me all the time. But I tell you what, it's noticed and it's appreciated. And Bruce, Michelle, Jason, everybody on here answering these questions tonight. Freaking love you guys. I couldn't do it without you. So, like, same deal, you guys. I just want to, you know what? I don't even want to put card spray on this. I'm just getting on a card spray kick. Let's do, I need, I need a tool. Sorry, I need a plate. One sec. I'm getting in my little my little card my little uh, card show carry all right here because uh, I've got a bunch of projects going and I need an extra plate. Buy like when you guys buy plates, buy like fifteen of them at a time because you're gonna use them, and uh, it's good to have them. So let's just keep this one simple. I'm gonna go back to we're gonna work on this and I want to get the um, I'm just gonna use a little bit of humidity. Usually that will do it. Fleers are thin. And uh, this one, you guys, when you ask me how hard I'm touching, I am just letting this thing make contact. And it's cr I'm looking through the tube because i got to see where the touch point is. So check this out. They don't always go that quick, but look at that. I know that this heaven is an iconic looking card, an iconic set. Don't be afraid to touch them. Don't be, because they work. They, 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 they're great. You know, when you can work on these cards, they make a huge difference. And there's my man Jay in there. Uh, appreciate you too, Jason. You, these guys went over and like freaking fought bad guys for our asses. So I can, so a dumbass like me can sit here and teach you how to fix uh, fix baseball cards. <laughs> you know, thank you. Thank you, thank you, you guys. BMF, capital, exclamation point. So this one, you guys, I want to do the same thing. That's a, it's a split in a little bit. So what I want to try to do is get it to like not be splitting, you know? So what I, what I want to do is I want to work on the back of this one. And I am going to do, 
and let's just let's keep it simple. I'm just going to use humidity first. All right, we're just going to use humidity first, and pretend this is your Jordan. So like when because guys will hit me up and be like, man, I'm afraid to touch my Jordan, and my answer is what? You should be. <laughs> you should be afraid to touch your Jordan because when somebody tells me that, chances are they haven't worked on it. They're Benoit Benjamins yet. So work on your cheap cards. Have fun with it. This is a this is a uh, a trade and a skill that you'll pick up and you'll have fun with. You know, so it's not like I just need to like watch a few videos and bust out my five thousand dollar card. No, no, no. Accidents are going to happen in that case. Take your time. I think humidity, just from my breath, you guys might do this. Just doing my little pattern. Up and down that north and south edge. So I'm just going south. I'm going east. And then I'm going heading south east. Look at that. That's better. Hell yeah, I love that stuff. So that is some corner and edge stuff. Holy moly, man. I felt like a... I felt like a chef at a... A 24-hour restaurant tonight, man. We're cooking with both hands. But, uh, dude, you guys, uh, thanks for hanging in there, man. I, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to try to keep this to like 35, 40 minutes. Sometimes it just rolls, man. It just, it just goes. So hang with me. I'm going to look over here. I just want to see if I have any questions I didn't miss that. I'm sure Bruce got everything because that's just the way he is. Um, Chicago card collector. That's a weird one. Chicago card collector collector asks, I got an RPA, but around the patch, it looks like it's getting aged, like darker color. I don't think it's fixable, but is it graded? And if it's graded, I would get it graded if it's not graded. I don't know. You know, the thing is, they put those little pieces of patch in there and they glue them. Glue is something that it goes weird over time. Um, so glue is weird, but I'm not sure. You can always send me a picture, man. I'll take a look. Um, so, okay, Kurt, how do we place these back into penny sleeves to be submitted? Here's a, let's see, I got a card that I'm going to submit for grading. So what I do guys is just put, you know, I'll put, I'll do a penny sleeve first and then I will put it, uh, put it in a semi-rigid. If a card's an RPA, don't be shoving an RPA into one of these stupid things. I don't care what anybody tells you. This is your property. You know, if you're like shoving an RPA in one of these things, you're going to bend those corners down and it's just going to, it's going to suck. So, you know, if you have a thick card, put it in a top loader, put a team bag over it. Um, and then, um, you know, and then when I put it, like, I'll put several cards together and I put these inside a team bag. A team bag is just like, the name, what it's called. It's just those clear things, you know, like the clear bags that have the little sticky on them. So I, I'll put like four or five of these in a team bag and, and put it on there. That might be what you're asking. I think so. Um, you know, so, and then here, here's another thing, you guys, if you want to, can I show you something real quick and then we'll, we'll wrap it up because it's a good question. Sometimes putting, um, a card away is weird. So let me just show you a quick hack. All right. So here's my quick card hack. So let me grab a, um, let me grab a, a penny sleeve. Now, sometimes you can do it on the first, this, now this is just a dirty one, but just for example, so like say I wanted to put this card in this penny sleeve, but I'm always anxious to hit a corner. You can get scissors and you can cut a little corner or you can go like this, like that. What I just did is I snapped my finger across that thing. And what you'll do is you'll go into this. So you Bend it like that. And then since I snapped this corner, look at it, it can fall right into it real easy. So practice it a few times, but you just wanna 
these things can screw up a corner royally. Like all the cart corners we saw tonight on the vintage cards were screwed up by somebody putting them in something like that. So I just I just snap it like that and then put it in there. All right. So I hope that 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 is a little handy little thing to do when you're putting cards away and putting them in the in the sleeves and stuff like that. So, God, let me, did I miss any? I, I'm sure, and Bruce, again, I hug you through the internet. And I also hug you guys all through the internet, man. Thanks for being a part of this tonight. I covered a lot. I'll take before and after pictures so you guys can see all the stuff we did tonight. Almost everything, I think everything turned out, man. Like, that was a pretty good, uh, a pretty good run we had tonight. But it's, I, I properly curated these cards. I didn't grab ones with chunks of paint missing because there's nothing I can teach you on that stuff, you guys. What I can teach you is, don't go buy a card with chunks of paint missing for a restoration project. If you love the card, well, who gives a shit if it's missing a little bit of paint? Just buy it and put it in your own collection. But if you're like, I want something I can work on, all the stuff I showed you tonight, you guys, is stuff that you have room to work on. Um, but, uh, and hey, Cardboard Diamonds, thank you for saying that. You know, the quickest hour and a half of your day, thank you. Me too. I feel like I'm just cooking the whole time. And I look up, I'm like, holy crap, it's 11.30. I'm good, but uh, I hope you guys are good, and I want you guys to have a fantastic uh, rest of your night. Thanks for being, you guys, just giving me a great community to be a part of. You're the best people in the world to work for, and uh, I sincerely mean that because, uh, you know, I've I've been, I've, I've, for years and years, entertainment was my main job, and cards were my side job, and I just, again, I think five years ago, man, I'm coming up, and all of anybody here struggling, man, my struggle was alcohol. And I'm so proud of almost five years of being getting it out of my life that like my brain works, my heart works, my hands work. I have the confidence to come out and show you guys this type of stuff because I just didn't before, you know? So if you're struggling, man, you're not alone. It's a normal damn thing. And it's just take those steps to get busy living versus getting busy dying. And, uh, you know, I just look at cards as fun. This is just something that makes me happy. But, you know, I know we all got a lot of responsibilities, and a lot of things going on. So I said my absolute best, man. Appreciate you guys, and um, yeah, we'll have a we'll have a, another good Wednesday night next week. Hopefully, you know, I'll find some more stuff to work on. And um, that little tool, that little pencil tool, guys, it's called a Tortion. Um, they're a little art tool. I got them on my web page or on the website. So you're a one on one. Remember, take care of yourself and take care of somebody else. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.